uh, one of them started talking about Linux and open source code, and that's when the light bulb just exploded, and I went, there's the template I'm looking for. So after the course, I ran back home and said, okay, we're going to take all of our proprietary data that spans 50 years, we're going to throw it up on the web, and ask the world to tell us where they think we would find the next six million ounces of gold in our mine, and we're going to offer prizes of half a million dollars. We launched it at the PDAC in 2000, um, and it really had some interesting elements, because I'd always gone up to the mine before that, and I'd say, do you have a model of this mine? And they said, well, we, we have several models. We have one for the upper level, and one for the lower level, and one partially developed for the middle. I said, why haven't you put them all together? And they said, well, they're all on different standards. And I went, well, why don't you put it on the same standard? Well, that takes more time and work. And so when we announced this contest, they went, well, we're not ready. And I said, well, you have six months to get it ready, the database. And then our head of exploration went, what happens if the market doesn't agree with how we've calculated? And I said, well, um, you think this is a world-class deposit, right? You think that you're doing the best way of analyzing it and assessing it, right? So that won't be questioned. Um, so there was a lot of nervousness around it. And then I said, well, maybe someone's going to take us over if they get all this information. I said, well, if someone's taking us over, they're going to pay a premium. You have options. You're going to, hire, you're going to get a higher price. If they don't take it over, and we make a bigger discovery, your career is going to be pretty good because your name is going to be on the front of this report and we're distributing it to every mining school in the world. Bob Mason, out of, he was a professor emeritus um, at Queens, helped structure this and he contacted five people and said, these guys, they're really excited to be a judge. I've spoken to them. I, I remember calling up Bob and I said, I got this idea and I'd like to bounce it off you. And uh, he said, well, he listened, and I said, well, I'll call you back in a couple of days and see what you think. He called me first thing the next morning and said, Rob, I haven't slept all night. <laughs> I've been on the phone talking to people all around the world. I have your panel of judges for you. This is the most exciting idea I've heard in my life. And all the other judges are the same way. It was just, this is just off the, ch off the charts. In terms yeah, pretty, of pretty unorthodox uh, when it comes to mining. Yeah, so uh, they were charged with picking their top 25 um, submissions, and then we got them all together because they all had different 25s. There were some common factors, and they picked a group 25, and we paid each uh, group um, $10,000. And then, and so there were, that was a quarter million. And then there was three finalists, and we said, refine your submissions. There's another quarter million to be had. The judges came up with a first, second, and a tie for third. So I increased the prize money rather than divide it between the thirds. Um, the first two, the first prize went, it was a collaborative effort between two consulting firms out of Australia that had never been here. Oh, okay. Um, none of the contestants had ever been to the mine. And, but these two consulting groups found themselves sitting in a reception room in Australia going to talk to a large mining company and I guess a meeting had backed up and they found them both looking at each other and one guy said, I think I have, uh, there's a contest in Canada, I'd like to enter, but I can't do all of it. And the other guy said, I could do it. So they went together on it. The winner the winners, their submission was a very sophisticated computer graphic, 3D computer graphic. And when I saw it, I almost fell out of my chair. It was just pushing boundaries, and I think in the Gold Park Challenge, it took us a small Canadian mining company and put it on an international stage. It totally differentiated us from the rest. People go, what is a mining company doing with the internet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Business Week named us as one of the 50 most innovative companies on the web um, shortly in about 2003. Canadian Business named us as one of the most innovative companies in Canada. Um, 
There have been a number of books where we've been featured in it, um, Wikonomics, uh, The World is Flat, a whole bunch of other things. And it's been very exciting in that, and it really shows that the biggest gold mine in the world lurks between everybody's ears, and if you can connect those thoughts, you can create very powerful opportunities.